Alex, I'm telling you right now, 5G is a scam. I look at my phone, it'll tell me I have 5G network, all the bars, I try to make a call, it's switching to 4G, all the Gs have left the room, before I know it, I'm stranded, can't make a call, I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm sad, I don't know what's going on, and my phone doesn't work. Alex, it's so frustrating, but what's going on with 5G at this point? Look, the, the truth is the cell phone companies are trying to sell you, you know, a new phone, a new data plan, and the speeds you're getting are only slightly better than what you're getting back on 4G. You know, even if you have 5G, most people can't tell the difference. It's a letdown, that's what you're saying. So you're admitting 5G is a scam to us all right here on the internet right now. Well, not entirely a scam, right? In real life, it is a bit faster than 4G. The main problem is, I mean, the way they overhyped it as revolutionary. Right? They were promising us self-driving cars and robotic surgery and, you know, 3D whatever. And mostly they've used it to fit a lot more people onto the band so a lot more people can use their phones and get sort of that 4G type speed at the same time. So at this point, it sounds like 5G's rolled out a little too early and they're also oversaturating what bands they have. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, so 5G kind of started in 2019. It was really 2022 that we started seeing like all the major phones coming out with it. But so it's, it's been five years and you know, it's continuing to roll out. There's a really neat thing in 5G, the, the 5G ultra wideband, which is really fast. The problem is it really only works if you can see the tower. It has really bad range. It has trouble going through materials. So when they hyped it up as something we'd use on our phones and get gigabit, that was pretty misleading. But for home internet, the idea that if you maybe put a cellular antenna on the outside of your window and then it gives wireless to your house at high speed, that could actually really work well. I mean, it's 2024. At this point, do we have anything to look forward to in the future? Is 6G on the horizon? Like what's next out of all this? They've been really consistent. It's been a G every 10 years, right? On the nine year, they announced the new technology and then on the, you know, three years later on the two year, we see all the phones come out with it. So I think that's what we're heading towards again. You know, I think 2029, we're gonna hear about 6G and then, you know, 2032, we're gonna see the new iPhone with 6G. And you know, I think that'll just keep repeating. It, it does keep improving. If you also wish the 5G was better, make sure that you hit the subscribe button for all your connectivity news and tech tips.